All right, welcome my friends. This is Dark Bones here, and I'm gonna be doing an LP today. And uh, this is a mod of a fan game of Sonic the Hedgehog. And we're gonna be playing uh, Chaos Domain today. And um, if you've known me for very long, you know I'm pretty terrible at Sonic games. So uh, I'm gonna have to pick a <sighs> start. I'm gonna have to pick. Um, a pretty awesome character to help me out. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I have some custom characters, um, in, normally in this game you only have Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. So let's pick a really awesome character to help me out. To call the Echidna. Yes, one of my favorite Sonic characters, and if you say otherwise, I will hurt you. Definitely best of the newer Sonic characters by far. Honestly, mainly because she's one of the few I can think of that's not just a palette swap. I'm not kidding, most new characters are just palette swaps of uh, Sonic. They, yeah, Sega really dropped the ball after um, Sonic Adventure 2. I will not lie. But enough about that, we're playing Chaos Domain. Obviously. Um, so what to talk about? Nothing much, but uh, it's not completely blind, I was going to do it blind, but like, I couldn't wait to get like a recording set up. And to have some time to record. So, yeah, I played, like, the first two uh, zones of it. There's apparently a little bit more, even though the it, there was only supposed to be two zones. But I'm okay with that. Oh, oh I backtracked. Okay! <laughs> yeah, as, as you can also probably tell, I'm having to revert to Cam Studio, because I could not get Fraps to check this game. I tried Camtasia. And it seemed like a good program until, um, it decided to try to save everything to my C drive. Why would a, rec why would a video recorder do that? I mean, you don't want to record stuff to your C drive. You know how, you know how much space these things take up? Yes, I know C is low. My C drive's always low. That's where I keep all my personal crap. Like my hacking files and stuffs in my video games. Honestly, I probably need to clear up my D drive a little bit. I've only got like 30 gigs, but eh, I can last on 30 gigs a while. You know, until I go back to a game that can detect fraps and I switch to fraps and I go to like 3 gigs for every 7 minutes. Because I record in like 60 frames per second, so it looks really good, as opposed to like 15 for this. So yeah, sorry, excuse me if it's just going blip, 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 Because, uh, Sonic is where it would be especially noticeable, but I cannot do anything about it, because, um, this game is based off a far older game, and, uh, I guess Fraps just doesn't want to detect it. Nothing I can do. I also, like, program my own screen recorder, and we all know that's not going to happen. I can program, but I probably wouldn't be able to do something like that. I only know stuff specific to game programming. And even then, I only know, like, a little bit. I'm, like, probably intermediate Java at best. But yeah, as you can see, like, the scenery here is really good. I'm glad that, uh, Cam Studio isn't lagging this, because if it did, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty sad. This Fraps tends to lag stuff a little bit when, I, when I'm playing, even if it's like the only two things open is Fraps in my game. You know, for a Sonic game based off a first-person shooter engine, this is really good, in my opinion. Like, I've been playing the actual game not too long. Not uh, not too long, but it's pretty fun. No, I'll probably not be doing an LP of it because 
uh, later on, it gets pretty hard. So this one does too. So I mean, what is with Sonic games of being like, okay, first zone easy, second zone easy, third zone good luck. Seriously, is that always the pattern? Like the second boss, like the uh, boss of the second zone onward in Sonic games is always where it just spikes up. Even in the fan games. Oh, I don't get that. Or at least in uh, Sonic 1, I don't think uh, Sonic 2... Well, no, yeah, Sonic 2 was like that for me, but it was just the boss. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think Sonic 3's was easy. Yeah, okay, never mind. That, that one had a good difficulty curve. Yeah, that that's awesome. There's actually a boss stage for this one. Like, there's a short little boss stage, like in the uh, Game Gear games and in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. The third zone is actually a short little level, which I've always loved. Just makes, I mean, obviously it pads up the game a little bit, makes it longer. I don't like that in the other two. Uh, Sonic Genesis games where uh there's only two there's only uh two uh acts per zone. I mean the games are already short enough. Why make them shorter? That's the only thing I don't like about Sonic games. They're always so short. I mean the 3D ones are long, but most of them suck, so Yeah. Well, anyway, yes, if any of you have played uh, the original, they will probably recognize this boss as the first boss, and I don't know why, but it's only for me. This boss will, like, glitch out, and every time I hit it, it'll just, like, rise up, and it's only when I'm playing as Decal. I, I don't get that. When I play as Tails, when I play as Knuckles, when I play as... Actually, those are the only two characters I ever play as, other than t -Call. so... No, I, I'm not good with playing as Sonic. I never have been in any game, ever. That's why I'm so... T you know, that's probably why I'm so terrible at Sonic, because I can control all his friends just fine. It's just Sonic. Stronghold Forest. Oh, I, we're actually uh, doing this pretty fast. I was worried because, like, you know, Cam Studio, I have to actually watch out for that. Like, oh, the recording's going too long. I think I'm going to corrupt it because I can. I've always hated that about Cam Studio. That's why I switched. Perhaps. And now I'm lost. I don't know where to go. I forget where to go. Oh, there's another path here. Figures. And here we go in the lush, beautiful forest. The scenery here is so beautiful. I actually like a lot of the music. For the like little, you know, little blips and sound effects, this change. And, oh man, I hate crushers in Sonic the Hedgehog games because he crushes so easily. Like in Mario, you get flat. No, you still have a little bit more to get under there. Go, go, go! But in Sonic, no. Like, what's that? It touched the very tip of your spikes in your hair. Well, guess what? You you died. You died. You died. I hate that so much. What's that? It didn't even touch you? <gasps> you died! Seriously, why do they do that? Ooh, oh man, I almost died! It's starting to come down! Well, that's what I get for running. You know, in Sonic games, I always try to go as slow as possible. You know, without running out of time. Thank goodness this game doesn't have a time limit. <laughs> then again, it's a 3D Sonic game, none of them really did. That'd be annoying. <laughs> Honestly, it was annoying in the 3D games. I mean, 2D games, much more so in the 3D games. 
I mean, one thing here. Well, let me say one, three words here. Three, which, no. Well, okay, one's a number, so three words. Everyone is going to agree with me on this. Carnival, night, zone, act two. Okay, that was four words, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you can all agree with me that that level far overstayed its welcome. Ugh. Yes, I know. I know that my computer wants to update. I don't freaking care. Let me get the recordings done first. Because I only have so much time to record, you know. Mm. That's life, I guess. Never going to have enough free time for anything. How does my life just work out like that? Whoa! You missed the spring. I, I'm so ashamed of you, call. How could you miss that spring? I mean, seriously, I didn't, I didn't even miss that by a short bit. I missed that by like a mile. See, the, these are the kind of things I'm talking about. I'm so bad at Sonic. I should have, like, inched my way up to it. But no, I decided, like, ooh, I'm going to speed it. I'm going to be, like, all hardcore or pro at Sonic the Hedgehog, but no. This is why I usually pick Mario stuff. I'm awesome at that. You know, when I'm not playing on a keyboard. This game actually plays pretty well on the keyboard, or maybe I've just gotten used to it, I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I've kind of had to switch to computer gaming. Let's face it, everything else is just going downhill. I'm looking forward to, uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Comes out in August, which means I guess that can be what I asked for for my birthday. You know, unless it gets delayed again like Luigi's Mansion did. I'm going to be pissed if that happens, because, like, that means I'm going to have nothing, really, to that I want for my birthday. I guess maybe go out and get a 3DS card, maybe get an old Super Nintendo game, but other than that, uh, not really. Like, I would wait to see if some of these, uh, Super Nintendo games come to, uh, 3DS, because I know they'll be cheaper like that, because they'll be, like, 8 bucks as opposed to, like, 20-something. But, I don't know. They've only released, like, NES stuff, and then, like, the portable stuff, for whatever reason. And, like, they haven't even done, like, Game Boy Advance or anything. They've done, like, the old Game Boy ones, which, I mean, Why? I mean, it can clearly handle it. I mean, it can handle N64 games. Let's let's play some Super Mario 64 in 3D! Except it probably wouldn't be in 3D, unless they redid it for 3D. Which would be freaking awesome. I mean, they wasted the time doing it for Star Fox. I mean, like, oh, that game looks so much better in 3D with slightly enhanced graphics. When everyone's just going to go and play it on the original system anyway... This was something like Super Mario 64, where people would be like, nah, I'd buy that again. Boss attack. Uh, whoa. That was an... Yeah, this boss is annoying. Yeah, even this game has the anno Did she come out of the center? Okay, apparently you can come out of the center. I've never seen that before. Nope. Um, I don't know how to react to that. Um, Sonic CD and My Little Pony, two things I never expected to see together, ever. I think that was the American version, which makes it all the more worse. <laughs> Who puts those things together?
I mean, who taunts death with some sort of pony? I mean, it's like... Burp -a -burp. I put something annoying and something aggravated! Aggravating so you can be aggravated while you're annoyed! Ah! I hate this boss. Maybe it's because Tikal isn't supposed to be here, but this boss is hard. Which really wouldn't make sense. It can't be that, because all she uses is a fast Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles is a bit too slow in this game for me. That's probably why I can play Tikal well and not Knuckles. Tikal can actually jump like Sonic and run like him, too. Which, I mean, sure, it makes her kind of cheap, but, I mean, come on. That alone should make her worth playing as. That, and she's so super cute. Like, the cutest Sonic character ever. Her and Tails, easily. Ugh, and that's an annoying thing. You can also get stuck in those tree trunks. Uh, I don't like this boss. If I really, really have to, I can go to my other file where I, like, barely beat this thing, so I can show it off. If I do, that'll be a part two. If I, if I get a game over and lose my continue, then I'll do that. Because I'm not playing this again off screen, just so you can see me do an attempt at the boss. If you really want to play it for yourself, I'll, I'll probably leave a link in the description so you can play it. For yourselves. Ah! Wow! That was... Okay, now he's over here. Also, later on, he gets really annoying because, like, he doesn't even shoot at you. He just, like, goes up, goes down. And... Ah! Lag! Attack of the lag! Wow, even Camp Studios lag yelled me down! Ugh. Now I'm annoyed and aggravated. Well, this Dark Bone's signing out. Next time, we'll just skip to Egg, Egg Mansion Zone, or whatever the next zone's called. And yes, I'm using T-Call in that file, too, so yay! We don't have to... We don't have to switch characters or anything. Okay, this is Dark Bones signing out. See you guys later.